Hello students, welcome to this lab class which mostly deals with the fluid machines. So we are the fluid machines we are consider into this class is the centrifugal pump. And the aim of the experiment is to conduct a performing test on centrifugal pump and to plot the operating characteristics. So before going to the experiment, we briefly know what this centrifugal pump is. The centrifugal pump is a rotodynamic machine that imparts energy to fluid by rotating impeller to increase the pressure of the fluid. So what we have understand by this statement. So we have known that as in like in case of rotodynamic machine, this is one part of a one case of a rotodynamic machines. So there is rotodynamic machines can be of two types depending on the direction of energy. So one uh, so in Turbine, if you, you may heard of the turbine, turbine is as a rotodynamic machine, which is the reverse of this, uh, like the re their working principle is in reverse of the centrifugal pump. So what uh, the you know, what if you have to understand it, then we have to say it like this: the centrifugal pump, which takes electrical energy and convert it into mechanical energy and mechanical energy that is the in a storage form that is the store energy and in case of turbine that is is a other uh, other type of rotodynamic machines so in where the direction is the opposite where the direction is taking place from mechanical energy to the electrical energy we are getting mechanical work from the turbine and that uh, that work has been used to produce electricity but here in case of centrifugal pump here we have consumed electrical energy. We have consumed electrical power to run the that that is provided from the motor. That uh, that motor is taking uh, electrical energy, and by the shaft of the uh, motor, it will connect it to the shaft of the pump, centrifugal pump, and it will then rotate the cent uh, that is the impeller of the centrifugal pump. That we'll see in the letter of this uh, letter of this class so this is no this is get the overview what is centrifugal pump is so it's like if centrifugal pump is converts the electrical energy that is given by the motor and produce that convert that electrical energy coming from the motor to uh, mechanical energy and mechanical energy has been stored as a pressure here here it is the pressure it is stored as a pressure energy so so the ultimate so from that uh, thing you can have the idea that pump is what you may have like may have seen pump in their application of pumps in every other here we have seen the pump the purpose of the pump is to carry the water from lower uh, some lower region to the higher region to make that uh, flow happen so for that pump is required so I will go through the notes then again then these pumps are commonly used to move liquids through a piping system when the fluid enters the pump impeller along and near to the rotating axis it is accelerated by the impeller and flowing radially on outward in a diffuser olive volute chamber from where it exits into the downstream piping system and these centrifugal pumps are used for large discharge through smaller uh, heads. So what happens actually that fluid is coming from this like that is called as a lower reservoir and that is is a higher reservoir. It's called as a sump. This one is called as a sump. So what you see here, the from here, if you can see from here, the water fluid is flowing to this pump centrifugal pump and this centrifugal pump the shape uh, the shaft of the centrifugal pump is connected to the shaft with the motor by some coupling so and this this motor is connected to the uh, uh, power is connected to the power so it is sir it taking electrical energy and that electrical energy has been put it into uh, by converted into that uh, through the pump in the store energy in the form of pressure head so 
atmosphere the fluid enters the centrifugal pump from this uh, atmospheric pressure if you see this here the only the atmosphere the here the fluid is exerted by the atmospheric uh, exer exerted by atmospheric atmosphere here so it has the pressure of atmospheric atmospheric pressure it has so the flu uh, then that flows into the impeller the through the eye of the impeller then that eye of the impeller then it starts rotates then it starts rotate then it what radially taking the flows to the eye of the impeller then it radially move the fluid outwards through that impeller and it will then going to the volute casing then it will go up to the because then what will happen that uh, the because of that kinetic energy that kinetic energy while striking the volute casing it will convert it into it then it drops its kinetic energy and that kinetic energy has been used to the pressure energy and it will be then uh, that that helps to put the fluid to the upper reservoir <coughs> so you know all you know that the fluid flows from high pressure to low pressure so in this case the here in this portion at the inlet of the infiller the suction pressure is created the, the very low pressure has been gen has to be created to move the flow from this pressure atmospheric pressure to that pressure so because at the because there is a we all know that uh, flow fluid from high pressure to low pressure so that's why the suction has been pressure has been created through the impeller because of the rotation of the uh, rotation of uh, uh, rotation of the impeller then it will because of that the fluid comes to the uh, centrifugal pump then again it's high pressure is created because of the movement of the emperor and he created kinetic energy at the outlet of the at the outlet of the blade of impeller <coughs> so that kinetic energy again used to move the uh, move the fluid uh, in the uh, to the upper reservoir so here is the structure of the impeller if you can see here here the <coughs> fluid is entering through this through the eye of this impeller and then what is on the this impeller is fully immersed in a fluid so that fluid is then uh, then radially moves outward and you have seen that this is kind of a uh, divergent section so because of the divergent section the kinetic has energy has been reduced and it will be converted into pressure energy so this if you have seen it uh, carefully if you can see this uh, the here is the cross sectional area is less here the cross sectional area is increases at the outlet of the outlet of the centrifugal pump you can see that the cross sectional area has been increased so cross sectional area has been increased so volume increased so we have seen that that kinetic energy whatever we have that kinetic energy drops and it will be having it converted into more pressure energy and so we get we will have a very high pressure so that's why the, that will help to move the fluid further <coughs> through the piping system it through the connected piping system so impeller can be of uh, three types the energy transfer from the shaft to the impeller and from the impeller to the water there are three types of impeller one is open impeller the fans are cast free on both sides then we have semi open impeller the fans are free on one side and enclosed on the other and then we have closed impeller if you look at this figure we can get to know this is a open impeller this is semi open impeller and this is a closed impeller then we have to know the volute casings uh, we go to open one so this is a impeller type and this is a volute casing so what happened the water is coming and it strikes here the kinetic high kinetic the inner water the high uh, velocity water i mostly the fluid has been transmitted is like it can taken as a walking fluid here as a water i'm taking example as a water and the then water is striked to the volume chamber and then it will goes out and while striking at 
then it will be that kinetic energy converted into pressure energy and it will be goes out because of that then we can have also diffuser case also in case of volute cases we have diffuser case the principles are same so this is a so we can have the like there is two kind of pumps are available one is centrifugal and one is positive displacement but our consideration here is the centrifugal pump so we'll only concentrate on that so there is some limitation of centrifugal pump the efficient operation of a centrifugal pump relies on the constant high speed rotation of its impeller with high viscosity feeds the centrifugal pumps become increasingly inefficient or there is a greater risk than at a higher pressure is needed to maintain a specific flow rate so there is some limitation you can find it and further uh, you can see and there is comparison you can have with the centrifugal pump with the positive displacement uh, and these are the application of the centrifugal pump if you have seen so that is application so these are the types of centrifugal pump and where it is used so many Practical applications, practical applications, the way the centrifugal pump is used. In case of like, if you have seen the like many piping systems, uh, like in case of if you have uh, gone through that Rankine cycle, you have seen that feed pump. The feed pump is mostly is a centrifugal pump which is connected from the condenser to the boiler. It's taking the water from the condenser to the boiler using the feed pump. The feed pump is nothing but a centrifugal pump normally used okay that's all so we have got the idea so purpose is to that the care of the provide sufficient amount of pressure to move it uh, the the kind that what happened the centrifugal pro uh, pump provides sufficient amount of pressure it that's what if you can go to this here So there is a what happened here is atmospheric pressure then this is a total static head so this is the pressure here and this is the pressure at the inlet of the uh, this one uh, higher higher reservoir and so from here we can have three different type of pressure head we can observe here one is static suction lift that is from the from the midpoint of the midline of the centrifugal pump to the this upper surface of the sump Th what is the difference of height is that is given by the static section lift then we have the static discharge head that is from the from the pump uh, midline of the pump to the the upper surface th uh, from the surface of the upper reservoir that is given as a static discharge head that is the head is required to discharge the water from the pump to that uh, to that reservoir where it is required and the static suction lift it is the about that it is the head required to suck the water from that sump to the pump that is the head and and all together if you can uh, just edit those two terms you get the total static head 